What's up, Vora Riders? Today, we're introducing the best scooters of 2024. As you can see behind me, there's a dozen different scooter models, even a hundred more online. This makes it difficult to choose your next scooter for purchase. On this video, we're gonna guide you guys on which to pick from the best scooters of 2024. Let's get started. In the long range category, we're gonna start with the Emo Cruiser. The Emo Cruiser has a range of up to 62 miles. It has a 1000 watt single motor drive. It's foldable, it's portable. You can adjust your height. Your handlebars can fold, so it's a lot more compact when you're on the go. For the second scooter that we're talking about in the long range category is the Mantis King GT. It has a range up to 56 miles. It has a foldable stem, which is still portable, but this time it's dual drive with 1100 watt motors. You could fold it down. It still fits in your regular trunk. It's zippy as it can be at 40 miles an hour. And for the third scooter is another Cabo scooter, which is the Wolf King GT Pro. This has up to 55 miles of range. It's dual drive with dual 2000 watt motors. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but it can get up to 60 miles an hour. Last but not least, we have our honorable mention, Thunder 2. It has a range of up to 72 miles, two dual drive, 2700 watt motors. It can go up to 60 miles an hour and it's also 72 volt, just like the Cabo. All these cruisers are great, but for me, my top two choices would be the Emu Cruiser and the Mantis King GT. Reason why is the Emu Cruiser is light and portable, parts are already available, and it's just simple. Now for the Mantis King GT, sometimes I like to go a little bit faster, 40 miles an hour. It's still light, can go quicker, and it's gold. So who's the Wolf? King GT Pro 4. If you don't mind the weight, but like the power, the range, different colors, gold or black, then this scooter is for you. Who's the Thunder 2 for? Well, if you like being the center of attention for the lights, you like the peppiness of the square web controllers, and if you just like Dualtron itself, this is for you. Now for our lightweight category, we have our Emu Touring. Weighing at around 39 pounds, it's very light, very portable. It has a single motor at 500 watts. It has a range of 32 miles. Can go up to 25 miles an hour. Adjustable height, adjustable handlebars. Comes with many different colors and it's probably one of the lightest scooters that we carry at Bora Motors. Next, we have the RS Light. It's the little brother of the RS Midnight. It weighs around 116 pounds. It goes up to 55 miles an hour and has a range up to 75 miles. I like one of these scooters. It's it's probably one of the lightest scooters that up to par of a lot of the top speed scooters out there. And as an honorable mention, we have the Mantis Pro SE, one of the older versions of the Mantis. It weighs around 65 pounds. It can go up to 41 miles per hour and has a range of 45 miles. It comes with gold and black and it has dual 1000 watt motor. Again, all these scooters are great, but my pick here will be the Touring as it is the lightest and most portable in our category. It comes with many different colors. It goes up to 25 miles an hour. The Touring is so portable that you could take public transport and no hassle. It's gonna be real near you. You could watch it enough for your last mile commute again the lightest scooter that we hold at warm motors now for the rs light if you don't mind being stealthy and going fast and don't mind the extra weight then this scooter is for you now for the mantis pro sc if you're a fan of cabo this is for you it comes in gold and black a little bit more portable and can still go up to 40 miles an hour and now we're in the seated category, which is one of my favorites. And first up is the Roadrunner SC, our brand new product line. It's very light, around 35 pounds. It comes with a single motor, 350 watt. It has a top speed of 20 miles an hour. Make sure you disable your speed limiters and of a range of 20 miles. It's probably similar feeling to a Fido, but bigger and safer. Now it also has a key, basic display, still your long seated seat and nice foot pegs upgraded rear and front fender. Next is our Roadrunner V2, very well known in the industry. It's dual motor with the rear 500 watt, the front 350 watt. You could interchange from single to dual drive. It goes up to 35 miles and up to 50 miles of range. It's well known as its removable battery, still very light and very popular in the community. Last but not least, we have the big brother, the Roadrunner Pro. It has dual motor at 2000 watt. It goes 50 miles an hour with 50 mile range. Has a 60 volt battery, which is pretty standard in the industry. Foldable foot pegs. And if you didn't notice, this Roadrunner Pro has PMT tires on it. Stay tuned. It has your nice TFT display, full twist throttle, and hydraulic brakes. And don't forget about the motors. They are split rim, split motor, and also a quick release for your motor. So easy to repair, easier tire changes. Out of all these three seated scooters, to be honest, it's hard to pick. So I would say I'd pick all of them, but I'll give you guys a reason why. For the SC, I would pick the SC due to the fact that it's very kid friendly. It's a very entry level seated scooter and your upgrade path is beyond your imagination. This baby can go up to 60 miles an hour if you really wanted to. 
And for the Roadrunner Pro, it is what it is. Out of the box, you get 50 miles an hour. Price point is way cheaper than its industry standard. Hydraulic brakes, it's ready out of the box. That's what I like. The V2, the middle brother, if I would describe it. Upgrade path is still there. This baby can potentially be 60 miles an hour if you really wanted to. But if the range of the SE is not enough for you, and you need a little bit more oomph and dual motor. The 35 mile an hour, 50 mile range for the Roadrunner V2 is your pick. Now we're in the fastest scooter category. And up first is the Wolfking GTR. Brand new in the market, 2000 watt motors at 137 pounds, 55 miles of range and 65 miles per hour. My favorite feature of this scooter is the removable battery, hybrid tires, and a little bit higher than your most normal scooters. Good for off-roading. And up next, we got the RS Midnight. It weighs around 128 pounds, up to 50 miles of range and up to 68 miles per hour. My favorite feature of this scooter is the app built into it. The quick disconnect of the motor and how light it is compared to the other products at its top speed range. And the third category is the E-Move Roadster. Again, brand new in the market, full carbon fiber. It's a bit on the heavier side, 143 pounds. It does go 80 miles an hour and has about 74 miles of range. Full carbon fiber, even the stem has your TFT display from our E-Move lineup and also dual motor at 4,000 watts each. It's the fastest production scooter out there and only Volvo Motors handles it. And last but not least, honorable mention is the Dualtron Storm. It weighs around 115 pounds, goes up to 68 miles an hour, and has about a range of 55 miles. Favorite part of this scooter has a lot of lights in it, so very attractive. People can see you at night, and of course, the 68 miles an hour is also a good sweet spot. All these scooters are great. They're very fast, but my favorite, of course, is the Emu Roadster. Just to say is because I'm not waiting three years to get a carbon fiber scooter, if you know what I mean. But it's my favorite. I rode it in Rider Fest. I'm comfortable on it. And come on, what is not to like? But for the best off-road scooter, I would have to pick the GTR. Again, I mentioned that it has hybrid tires. The height to ground clearance is a lot higher. So off-roading is a really good feature here. It has hydraulic brakes. And also the front and rear suspension are now adjusted compared to the Wolf King GT Pro. Now for the RS Midnight, who's this scooter for? If you want a little bit more speed and want to ride something that Batman would ride, this is for you. Now for the Dultron Storm, if you're a big fan of Dultron, want to zip past your friends, be center of attention, and you want to hear that distinctive motor noise, this is for you. And there you have it, the best scooters of 2024. I hope you guys like my recommendations from each category. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to buy. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and get your scooters at boromotors.com. Till next time.